All right, yo, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors on to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that do rule exceptionally well. Also, Shalom, salutations, mercy, and blessings to all you sincere brothers out there pushing this word with truth and with faith. All right, my name is uh, Thabwa Moth of Great Millstone Northwest. All right, back with a uh, another lesson. I've, I've pretty much um, uh, for the second time today, I've been uh, train wrecked. All right, I usually take a train into work and a train uh, home from work, and the train coming into work was was late with a uh, big delay due to um, uh, due to a, a car breaking down on the tracks, and now the train home from work is. <laughs> Hey, hey, the water y'all about me outside. Somebody caught judgment and died on the tracks, man. Got smacked by a freight train, man. You know? Hey, but pretty much, you know, the, the, a lot of the people on the plane, or not, I'm sorry, not on the plane, but on the train, a lot of the people that uh, I was around, they were all wondering, um, like, what's going on? Oh, why is this happening type of thing, man? And, man, one of, one of the things that's been going on through the spirit that I've been noticing and the brothers that's been around me has been noticing is that, uh, it's a beauty knowing why things is happening man it's a beauty understanding you know uh, uh why things are happening here upon the earth man and why why certain people have to go through certain things and and, and why you know there there needs to be a um uh, uh uh troubling times and whatnot man it's a beautiful thing to to be able to um uh to witness that and and also to know the answer towards it and the truth about it is hey the heavenly father is making his move on this earth man all right, whether you're an Israelite or not, the Heavenly Father, he's making his move upon this earth. So things, they expect things to get hairy, man. If you are an Israelite, if you're in this truth, you got to realize that you're going through uh, trials and tribulations. All right, because uh, realistically, the things that's about to happen here upon this earth is about to be uh, drastic and, and, and dynamic. But see, the thing about it, Esau and the heathens, they don't know the Lord, man. Esau and the heathens don't know the Lord. All right, it's only for Israel to know the Lord, man. All right. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it's, it's, for, it's for them uh, to know the Lord, man. All right? Um, and the proof of that is right here in uh, Amos. Hold up. So, like, yeah, let me move that little thing down. Amos uh, chapter 3, verse 2. It says, um, actually, I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. You see? So Israel, when we're when we're catching hell and shit, it's because we're going through our chastisement. We're going through um, our punishments, man. You know? But that's that's not nothing that we should look at and, and get upset and get uh, uh, mad about. No, on the, on the contrary, man. You know, it's a beautiful thing. Knowing that we are actually loved by the Heavenly Father, knowing that us as so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the ones that's constantly being pushed down upon this earth, we are actually loved by by the, the power that created everything before you, man. All right? That's that's a beautiful and a comforting uh, spirit, man. But only Israel knows the Lord. These other he these, the heathens and, and uh, 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 Esau, they don't know the Lord, man. That's why, they, that's why they don't catch the same type of judgments that we catch, man. Or if you look at a scale of history, Israel's gone through a lot, man. Israel's been, uh, 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 you know, dragged through the mud uh, uh, time and time and time and time again. All right? Time and time again, man. You know? But it's, it's, it's because the Most High actually cares about us. Just like a father with his son, he's going to discipline his son. He don't care about the son's best friend. son's best friend can do whatever, right? The son's best friend ain't, ain't the son. But the son is, is, is what's important, man. You know, Lord willing, we'll be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, the son, and, and we can also be um, uh, important. All right. Let's go and read what uh, what Moses told us here. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse, uh, I think the points are 15. I may be able to read up. It says, um, no, nah, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 15. It says, only the Lord hath... Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. So Israel is more important. Even though we, we're constantly getting shitted on, we're constantly finding ourselves in a bad position, you know, on this side, under Esau, Edom, and underneath the uh, 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 rule of these heathens, even though we, we find ourselves in these uh, 
uh, situations, the truth about it is that above all the people that's on the earth, the Most High chose us, man. All right, the ones that's looked at as as scum, as thugs, as uh, you know, uh, uh, hoodlums, as as no good, as as uh, um, unproductive members of society, so on and so forth, man. All right, they want to build walls to keep us out, and they want to. You know, constantly put us down at every turn that they can. And that's okay. They can do that. That's that's their right to do, man. All right. That's how jealousy works. That's their right to do. But that's that. That's not for us to take and internalize and think as, as uh, something negative, man. Because the, we're loved by the heavenly Father. That's why we can sing, man. That's why we can dance. All right. That's why we can flave. That's why. That's why women all across the world from every nation is is infatuated with us, man. It's because we are actually the children of the heavenly Father. Okay. Which that's that's a that's a that's a very um, that's a very uh, important and comforting uh, thought. No matter what's going on, hey, the Israelite, you can be having the worst day ever, man. You can have it where your train breaks down twice. You're late to work, all right? Bosses on your heels and so on and so forth. Hey, at the end of the day, none of that matters because you're actually loved by the Heavenly Father, man. All right? The, the, the Most High actually cares about your soul. That's, a hey, too many of our people just uh, ignore that fact, man. Okay? It's Isaiah, uh, the last chapter, chapter uh, 63. I'm sorry. That's not the last chapter. Uh, but chapter 63, um... Uh, verse 19, the last verse of what I was meant to be getting at. It's Isaiah chapter 63, um, uh, uh, verse 13. It says, I'm sorry, verse 19. It says, We are thine. Thou never bearest rule over them. They were not called by thy name. Let me read up. This is uh, verse 17. It says, O Lord, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways and hardened our hearts from thy fear? Return for thy servant's sake the tribes of thine inheritance. The people of thy holiness have possessed it but a little while. Our adversaries have trodden down thy sanctuary. And that's exactly what it was going on, man. They the, the, the children of Israel, we only had we really only had real peace for, for a small amount of time, man, under the rule of King Solomon. Other than that, it's been turmoil and it's been war, man. Okay? And these heathens trodden it down to the point to where they're claiming now that they are us, man. They, they, they're, they're over there and they're living in our land, man. All right. And they're claiming they're claiming uh, that, that they are uh, actually the children of the Heavenly Father, even though even though uh, uh, that they, they're, they're imposters, man, even though that's a flat out lie. OK, it says um, we are thine. We being the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, we are thine. Thou never bearest rule over them, and they are not called by that name. And that's what you got to remember, is we are actually a people that is called by the name of the Heavenly Father, man. All right? The reason the Heavenly Father said he's not going to destroy us is because of his namesake, man. And the Most High, Most High put a stamp. He put a stamp with the nation of Israel, man. He put a, sta a stamp with you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out there, man. All right? He actually cares about you. He looks, you know, he, he looks similar to you, man. The Lord... When Yahweh Shah came down here upon the station, man, ain't this some shit? Goddamn train moving. Goddamn train moving. <laughs> hey, hey, the Lord, when he sent Yahweh Shah down here, all right, he, he sent him. And when Yahweh Shah actually had a physical form, he looked just like you do, man. All right. That's an important thing. That's why these heathens are mad. That's why these other nations is, uh, is mad and upset, man. Okay. That's why these other nations is mad and upset. Okay. It says, um, it says, we are called by thy name, but they were not called by thy name, man. All right, these other nations, the, the heathens, Esau and the heathens, man, the non-Israelites, they wasn't called by the name of the Heavenly Father. All right, these people aren't important. They're not important in the whole scope of things, man. They're important in the fact that we need somebody to build up stuff, but they're not important in, 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 um, uh, uh, to the Heavenly Father, man. They're not important like that. As it says in the Apocrypha, they're accounted as uh, spittle. Okay, and I might, I might grab that, I might not. This is Jeremiah, uh, uh, chapter ten, verse twenty-five. Okay, it says, Jeremiah ten twenty-five. It says, "Pour out thine fury upon the heathen that know that know thee not." See, it's because the heathen they don't know the heavenly Father, man. Our big beef with two thirds of the nation of Israel right now, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, or our big beef with you guys is that you guys don't know the heavenly Father, man. All right. It says, "Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that 
uh, that know thee not, and upon the families that call not on thy name. For they have eaten up Jacob and devoured him and consumed him and have made his habitation desolate. And that's what these that's what these other nations is doing even to this very day, man. Esau Edom being the spearhead of it. All right. Followed closely by Moab and Ham and all these other damn uh, uh, heathen nations that's out there. OK. And, and what they're doing is that they're eating up Jacob, man. They, they, they're building up. They're, they're filling their pockets off of the off of our labors, man. All right. And they're doing that time and time again, and they, they don't they don't plan on stopping. All right, they're gonna do that. They're gonna do that all the way up until the missiles drop, man. And they don't even got a clue that the missiles is gonna drop. All right, hey, these these other people don't care about you, but it's beautiful because the Most High don't care about them, man. And the Most High does care about you. All right, so just keep that in the back of your mind. This is uh, I know I said I was gonna go and grab that uh, second Ezra's, but I'm I'm not. I'm just gonna grab this and I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. This is the book of First Peter. Uh, the fourth chapter, all right, verse 17, straight to the point, it says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Heavenly Father. And if it begin, if it, and if it first begin at us, right, and, and that's that's the time we're in, where the Most High is judging his people. His people is starting to see um, uh, uh, turbulence, man. All right, and it says, If it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Heavenly Father? And that's a beautiful point. Look, if, if Israel's getting jacked up, if we was able to be castrated, if it was able to be taken into a hardcore bondage and slavery, was able for, you know, uh, uh, many years after slavery ended, over a hundred years, over a century after slavery ended, to still be being treated, you know, uh, uh, terribly. Even to this very day, if if we went through that and we're actually the people that the Heavenly Father cares about, what more is it going to be for the Most High to downplay these nations, man? For these heathen nations, what what more is what 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 is their end going to be? All right, how bad is it going to be for them if it's this bad for us and we're actually loved by the Heavenly Father, man? All right, and that's just something to think about. Hey, Lord willing, this has been edifying. Lord willing, the message will receive. Again, the praise and the glory, it goes unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors onto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who live as excellent examples here upon the planet Earth of how an Israelite man should be conducting himself. Also, Shalom, salutations, mercy, and blessings to you, brothers that's out there taking heed to that example. All right, until next time, Shalom.